So Jesus warns us, I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away so that you won't be deceived. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. And they will do these things because they have not known the Father, not me. Now, you have Vatican II, the magisterium, and you have the entire Catholic Church teaching the papacy, the magisterium, teaches people that the Jews and the Catholics worship the same God or that the Christian God is the same as the Jewish God. And Jesus is literally saying that the Jews do not know the Father. Jews don't know the Father. And remember what Jesus tells the, the, the rabbis. They say, oh, we have Moses. We have Moses as our prophet. And Jesus says, no, you don't. If you had Moses, you would follow me. In other words, if you had, if you followed the Father, God the Father, then you would follow God the Son. But you don't follow God the Son, therefore you do not follow God the Father. And so Jesus is saying to his people in John chapter 16, right in the beginning of the chapter, and they will do these things because they have not known the Father, nor me. And you have all these street preachers who go to Israel and they're preaching and the Jews spit on them and they curse Christ and they blaspheme Christ. And what do these these Christian preachers will say things like, oh, I love your God. I worship your God. I worship your God. No, you don't. If you worship the Trinity, you do not worship the God of Talmudic rabbinic Judaism. It's it, you, do, you don't. And if you say that you do, then you are antichrist. You are following a God that is the antithesis to the Christian God. You are you are antichrist. You're going the opposite of what Christ says. Christ says they do not follow the Father. They do not know the Son. But but Vatican II says that they do, that they do know God the Father. No, they don't. We we know about Islam. Everybody knows Islamic God is the. the we know about the Muslims, but there's more of a deception. My, I understand what you're saying, and you're right. Vatican II teaches that the Islamic God is, is the same God. But it also teaches that the Jewish God is the same God as the Christian God. So what's happening is you have all these Christians who are like, oh, I stand with Israel, I stand with Israel because I follow the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all this stuff. But they're not. they're actually going contrary to what Jesus said. Jesus said, they're going to kill you in the synagogues because they do not know the Father, and they do not know the Son. So when you have... Jewish fanatics, Jewish extremists going around saying, I hate Christians and this and that. And these pre preachers are like, oh, we worship the same God. Those people are deceived. They are absolutely deceived. And I think what eventually is going to happen is the Jewish extremists in Israel are going to kill the Christians. There's going to be massive persecution as the presence of the far right grows. And I think eventually the Jews are going to kill each other. I think the Jews are going to kill one another. And that's my position on the ultimate condition for Israel. Zechariah 13. Two-thirds of the people in the land will be struck down and die, says the Lord, but one-third will survive. So there's going to be massive violence in Israel. Two-thirds of, of, of the people there are going to be wiped out. How are they going to be wiped out? War. And I think there's going to be civil war, and I think there's going to be, uh, you know, war with an invading uh, force.